Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing the easiest and fastest way in which you can create a new audience inside of MailChimp. Now if you don't know what an audience is, a MailChimp audience is a group of contacts that you have permission to send email campaigns to. MailChimp audiences are created from lists, which are simply a collection of email addresses. When you create a MailChimp audience, you can specify the following information. Audience name, which is the name of your audience and can be used to identify your audience inside of MailChimp. Your audience type, which is the type of audience you are creating. You can choose from a list of predefined audiences such as customers, leads or subscribers. Opt-in method, this is the method that you will use to collect email addresses for your audience. You can choose from single opt-in or double opt-in. And finally, audience fields. These are fields of information that you will collect about your contacts. You can choose from a list of predefined contact fields such as first name, last name and company name. So let's jump into it. I'm going to show you exactly how we can do that now. So to start with, you first want to be on the MailChimp website and be logged in or create an account if you don't have one already. Then you want to come over to this audience tab here and come over to the audience dashboard. Now, as you can see, I don't actually have any contacts yet. So if you don't have any, you do want to create some contacts first. So go ahead and click on this button here, add to your contacts. And then what's really cool about this is there's three different ways in which we can do it. So the first way is to import from another service. So you can import your contacts from Zapier, Salesforce, WooCommerce, QuickBooks, Squarespace, or Shopify. However, if you don't have any of them, we can import them via text and CSV. I'm pretty sure is the second option. Yeah, so CSV or a text file. And finally, you can copy and paste them if that's easier. So choose whichever one suits you best. I'm just going to choose upload a file. And then you just want to add in whichever. And then you just want to add in your contacts. I've just made a list of fake contacts for the sake of the video here. And now you want to organize your contacts. So you want to select a status. So that you can choose between subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed and cleaned. Now, if you click on each one of them, it tells you the meaning here. So feel free to just click on each one and just read through so that you understand which all of them mean if you don't know already. And you can also choose to update any existing contacts. So if you imported contacts that are already in your contacts, that are already in your audience, they automatically replace the information with the data from your import. So after you've done that, you can click continue to tag and then Here's where you can easily organize your contacts using simple words or phrases that make the most sense to you. So since it says makes the most sense to you, that's exactly what you should do. Put in tags that you that's going to help you understand exactly who these contacts are. So let's just say customer 2023 and continue to match. And here's where we can actually match column labels to our contact information. So you just want to make sure this is all right. As you can see, mine is. And you want to make sure all your contacts are actually recognized in the file. And then once you're done, you can click final, you can click finalize import. And here it will say review and complete your import. So free contacts has been added to my audience. And here's all the things we just added. And we can complete the import by clicking here. And now you can see my import was successful. So here's where you can actually start a targeted campaign. So now that we've done that, we have now officially created our audience. So here's where you can see all the details about it. You can see where they come from. You can see the age range, gender, etc. And you can also manage your individual messages in this message inbox here. So that can be really helpful. And now that you've set up this audience, you can now use it for a few different things, such as sending email campaigns, creating segments, sending automated emails, tracking your results, creating landing pages, and even using MailChimp's CRM features. So overall, audiences are a powerful tool that can help you grow your business and improve your email marketing campaigns. If you are using MailChimp, I highly recommend creating audiences and using them to their full potential. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.